see you can install jv droid okay so for that you need to go to play store and you need to type here jv droid okay so this is uh, the application jv droid id for java okay so i have already installed so it is showing me the option open so let me open it uh, click on open okay now you can see you will get uh, some window like this initially you may not get uh, the same window initially you may be required to do some setting and then this is the area where we can write our java program suppose let me write a basic program see don't change the name of the class in this case uh, the class name will be main only m a i n and then public static void min string array args and then curly bracket uh, is already given uh, let me write one program suppose uh, int okay int uh, in variable x let me assign a value uh, 10 okay uh, value 10 then uh, use semicolon then enter uh, then int y is equal to okay y is equal to uh, let me assign the value 20 and put semicolon uh, then int z is equal to z is equal to okay z is equal to x uh, plus x plus y x plus y so what is x it is 10 what is y it is 20 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 30 will be stored in variable z then we have to print capital s huh? please uh, remember in system s is capital s y s t e m system dot o u t out dot p r i n t print l n print l n and then uh, here let me print the value of z okay then use semicolon see i'm not writing z within double quotes because if i write z within double quotes then what will uh, happen you know uh, z will be printed but i do not want z to be printed i want the value of z to be printed so i'm writing z okay without double quotes okay so curly bracket close curly bracket close okay now uh, this is the button okay bottom right side you can see one yellow color play button is there it is not the play button it is the run button okay so click here and then let me see what is the output yes here you can see the output is 30 okay the output is 30 okay uh, so can we save this program or not okay yes so this is the button okay this on the top uh, right side you can see one button is there you can click here and then you can write uh, i mean select the option save as uh, welcome to uh, scoped storage cool okay so here this is the directory which we can uh, use public documents app storage removal on uh, okay mm, so public documents can i store here yes so use this folder and you can just click here and allow okay then this is the folder okay uh, so you can create a new folder write the name uh, java projects my java projects okay my java projects p r o j e c t s my java projects create and then within this folder where is that yes within this folder uh, you can uh, just give the name new file dot java you can give any name okay let it be new file only and then click on save button okay click on save button so this is saved okay so i hope uh, i have told you clearly how to use this uh, jv droid application okay in mobile uh, to uh, type and uh, execute java programs okay so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye take care okay practice